a convenient time for Russia's president to announce his government does know the suspects in the Skripal poisoning case. Taking advantage of the international attention in Vladivostok, a planted question granted this response. We have looked at who these people are. We know who they are now. We found them. I hope that they show up and speak for themselves. That would be better for everyone. There is nothing special or criminal there, I can assure you. But in time, we will see. Are they civilians? Pardon? Are they civilians? I don't hear. Are they civilians? Of course they're civilians. One Russian state television channel said it had spoken to one of them. He declined to comment on the case for now, saying only that he worked for a pharmaceutical company in the Siberian city of Tomsk and would perhaps speak next week. Just last week, British prosecutors identified the men they said were Russian military intelligence officers operating under the aliases Alexander Petrov and Ruslan Boshirov. The pair, casually dressed, boarded a flight from Moscow to London on March 2nd, staying at a hotel in East London before heading to Salisbury, the city where the poisoning took place. CCTV footage captured their moves at several locations, including at the train station on the day of the attack. Later that night, they returned to Moscow. The British government has repeatedly demanded explanations from Russia with little result. And while there has been backing from the UK's international allies, the Prime Minister's spokesperson said that Moscow had repeatedly lied and hidden the truth about the poisoning. Putin's statement uh, really didn't give much. He, he said these, these individuals were civilians. Uh, that was essentially a, uh, an attempt to disavow them and the claims that the UK had made that they were a member of Garou, uh, Russia's military intelligence. Uh, and you know, beyond that, we didn't even see any confirmation of these gentlemen's real names. British prosecutors have said that there is sufficient evidence to charge the two men. They have not requested extradition, as Russia does not extradite its own citizens. But a European arrest warrant has been sought if the pair travel to any EU countries in the future. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.